Hey folks, welcome to the, uh, the, the helicopter view of our, of our Ostrov town. <laughs> yeah, if I were to turn that back on, that's where we are in the map, the bottom corner down there. Still got a lot of map left. We're pretty much one-fourth of the map done now. There's a there's a lot of room, and from what I understand, this is not the, uh, the other. There are maps that are a lot bigger than this, so I can't imagine filling a, a much larger map. Anyway, a granary's been completed. That must be one of these guys. Um, are we running? We are nice and slow. <laughs> um, a comic came in about something that I did here. I changed something here, and I did all of them forgot that we had more than the two so three spaces over here but there's nobody that lives over here to be able to fill it so that wasn't a uh, wasn't a problem even here this is what's worrying me all this time only one person so apparently I don't know we had this filled before and we had less houses so something changed with that update that has changed the distance in which they can be employed it's the only thing I can come up with this was we had five people working here and five people working there before the cart shed problem hit and now we don't and now these guys can't even be employed so they've been sitting since I since the beginning of last episode when I rehired here and hit apply to all although yeah must have we must have already had the other one built the episode before because I haven't done that again and both of these over here are asking for employees. We will get rid of that, but point is, nobody can hire over here, even from these houses. No one can hire here from these houses or these houses, except for the one who just happened to, and he lives over there. He must have the corner apartment. <laughs> But, yeah, that is that is kind of odd that that's doing that. Anyway, in between episodes, I never got anybody to pick that up, so that still hasn't been set. And I did lay out a new market area over here, but the wait to have these trees taken down, I figured it would take me well into April or May before it was all done. And so I decided not to not to wait. Go ahead and we'll, we'll do that while recording. So that is happening there. It was brought up that we could use this space over here as a market as well instead of right there. But looking at this from that's what got me into the aerial view. From here, we were questioning how far these houses could reach. Turns out they can reach over here. Meaning we spent a couple of episodes watching a a 10 year old over here not go to school but instead walked over to the market and bought some things and walked back to the house now we were having last trouble last time with this family right here these two basically about to move out because they couldn't buy anything for some reason they cannot reach this market they can reach the one booth over here that we did get up and running and they went and bought all these things so they've got all those things in there they're not reaching this, and yet we watched a, you know, who was, the name that I, I said I wasn't even going to try to pronounce, Vy, Vykoslav, Vy, yeah, Vy, yeah, okay, Vy, <laughs> he, uh, at 10 years old, he was buying stuff from the market, and that was uh, two or three episodes ago, I remember that, so I know this house can reach that market, so obviously this house can too, something is glitched here. And I don't know how to make that stop other than they successfully bought from the market stall right there. So this market should become viable for them, even though this market was within reach. But for some reason, now this house has been built. Oh, interesting. See, I don't know what all changes when a hotfix comes out. I don't know what unexpected issues hit these houses are all patch four some of these right in here are patch five hotfix two and hotfix maybe three this may have come in after hot 
Patch 3 came out, but I decided not to employ these for one extra episode. So this must be a Hot Patch 3 house that now can't reach those markets. Make sense? These were Hot Patch 2 houses. They're still functioning. But something happened there, and now this one can't reach it. Or something has gone wrong in the, the code and this one is glitch, but I think that it's too much of a coincidence that this was the last house that we built, if I'm right. We'll see what happens when these other houses go in, which are probably right in here. Yeah, when these houses go in, you're ready? One tree left, let's move you up. Which one is it? That one. Let's move you up to there and get that tree taken out and get this one built and let's see what it can or cannot do. Maybe we can do that before we fill any more of these markets up and see if this house also only comes up with these four things. That would help us to, to, to figure some things out. If this house can't buy anything from here but only there, then Hot Patch 3 did something to the distance that they can buy from. So any of you with a current game running that you build houses in Hot Patch 3 next to houses from Hot Patch 2 or 1 or or Update 4 you know, do they act the same? Is it just me? <laughs> anyway, I'm trying to uh, to troubleshoot all of this and that's the only viable explanation I've got that, that makes any sense. I did work through here a little bit. I laid out some of the plots like I had over there into this area to get kind of the same idea. I did it like this over here. I think over here we will just run them to the end and stop and or some smaller squatty ones just in there but I want to leave most of this area here for industry and I don't want to push them too close to it. But that's the idea and none of these can reach a market right now. And I don't know if it's because they were set up after Hot Patch 3 or not. But I'm thinking this island here doesn't have a nice little market area like that, or probably more like this. But either way, I did have a request that, you know, over on this island with these guys, maybe we set up some kind of a, a bazaar like thing. And, you know, it, it could, including a bunch of market stalls, but it wasn't necessary because of all the stores built into there. But it might work well right in here. From this point on, the houses can reach the markets. It's over in here that we get the... Okay, it won't tell me now. Uneven terrain. Come on, just give me... It won't give me the message if I can't build it. So, can I... There, I just had it. They are warning no market stalls nearby. So, this one apparently is close enough, but the houses right over here were not. I got that warning all through this area. Over here, though, I can. So these guys should probably be able to reach these guys, the, the stores. So that's... I'll build these first. Let's put it that way. I haven't got to set them up yet because we had so many little squares over there. I started in this direction, and I really should have started this way. So those are going to sit there for a while, and I'm not deleting them. <laughs> but I was going to set that... I, I tried to set that bridge. Took me quite a while to really line this up right. I think I got it. I'm, I'm hoping I did because I'm setting up the, the housing to reflect that. But I ran into a problem. There is a big difference between this shore and this shore. When this Update 5 first came out, I watched uh, JC the Beard playing a little bit. I think it was his show. I think so. And he had built a bridge across here. He, of course, set up over here like everybody else did. And he shot a bridge across. And back then, this has been fixed since, but a bridge up here would come across level and then add a great big bump of ground where it lands. And then you'd have to drop. It, it, it did a bad job of re-terraforming to try to accommodate the bridge. And one of the hot fixes since then to address that. So when I went to put a bridge in after last episode, I get this. Now, there's only certain spots that even let me do it at all. It's somewhere around here. I went back to here and I, it wouldn't let me build. But if I go to here and shoot across, yeah, I get green for two hits. And then from then on, it's uneven. But look at the 
Look at the incline. That is about the best that we're going to get out of this. But if I had set that, then you wouldn't be able to see this image. You'd only see the, uh, the post sticking out of the ground down there. But if I went from here across, yeah, it, it makes no difference, and they can't build it from there. They have to go across the bridge, go all the way across here with the building materials, and start at this point. So it needs to be from here. And I went back to, like, here at first, seeing if I could even that out. And I couldn't get a green spot anywhere. It wouldn't let me build at all. So at that point, it just doesn't like this. So we're going to get in pretty close, and we're going to have an inclined bridge over here, like that. So touch and one more. That's where it is. So from here, turning... Straight is what? Get where I can see. Yeah, I can't. It's really hard to to see what's below me here and what's out there because of all these trees. I think that's pretty close. I'm just gonna go with it. Okay. I thought this was pretty close too, until. <laughs> okay, so you, I want to get. Yeah, we don't have to get that done anytime soon. Actually, we don't. Now, so what was that last noise? I heard something, and I was busy talking. Market stall went in. Okay. So we are gradually taking trees down. So I set market stalls all through here. We're going to get rid of the one that we're using. I have a big open area with seating in here. Pathway that shoots through it, and a pathway that shoots through it. Maybe fencing with an arch here, an arch there, and an arch here. Kind of like what we did over here. But over here is just it's closer to the two extremes than this one so like I said now that I think about all this it might be that uh, update 4 was fine with that distance but update 5.3 is not and even these guys can't reach that so we might find ourselves building this and that house suddenly has a problem getting any materials and we're depending on these for just random things. So I don't know if the rules have all changed on me or not. Anyway, this is being cut down. They're all right in there. But we're not going to turn them on until this gets built. I see we're bringing the building materials over now. One tree is left. Who is responsible for the one tree? And it's this guy. Ah, it's their old, uh, their old garden. Like this one right over here. That's what's coming down. Okay. Um, do you guys have anybody... Where are we? We're in March. So we're sewing. That's a problem. Waiting for two more guys to employ over here. And I set these guys to employ some time back. It was... Wasn't it still February? Maybe this is now too far away to get people to, uh, to work here. Yeah, we went through March. Wish I had stopped to notice... While we were sewing, how many people were uh, actually laboring over here? Unless laboring is not a problem. Unless laboring doesn't have a distance, but working does. It's possible that there's a difference there. But I can't get two other guys to employ here, even though we have 13 guys still looking for a job. And 16 ladies. Been thinking about that. We had 13 last time, and nobody would employ here but the one. Okay, we got a second one now. Now, he may well have been employed at one of the other things, like here, five went down to three, and so somehow that job was just a tiny bit closer to home. Not sure. Soap is not employed. Bricks are way behind. So we'll see what happens. Now, we're just going into April, so that, that influences everything. Everybody was laid off last month. Um, what was I just doing over here? I don't know. We did that. We did that. We were playing with the market over there. Okay. Waiting for this to go away. Still hasn't been done because the few cart shed workers that are working have been busy moving all of that stone over. So whatever happened here? We finally moved a bunch of stuff. Stone is pretty much gone. Uh, charcoal has been keeping up. We still have Dirkachi. Another 5,000 charcoal of the 12,000. And they've been reloading it as fast as it's been leaving. So I could almost probably pull off 15,000 with only 12 or 10,000 loaded in here and still be able to make it. It's looking that way. 
Um, Salo came in. It's being distributed. Is Salo over here? It is not, and we're full. Okay. You know, just to pull it out of here into a granary storage area. So we'll have to do that when we get into these guys. Hmm. So hopefully, the you know, all the testing that I did to see if these markets could even reach over here by putting market stalls and all this sort of thing. Hopefully none of those uh, experiments are worthless now. Hopefully they haven't uh, changed anything else under the hood. Um, anyway, so you guys are... One person is off doing something. How about you? Um, you. Okay, you're loading stone still. You are probably returning from something. And you are on your way with more stone, all right? Get into the sunlight. Yeah, more stone. Okay, so we're still dealing with the stone, the 5,000 stone that had to leave the, uh, the trader. Okay. So maybe when that's all done, then this order will come up in the queue. And then we'll set that one. That looks so much more open. It does. I think when this is sitting here, it's not going to feel so tight right in there. That's going to look good. Then, we, yeah, we need to shape the road around this these two divots right here. It needs to be up high. So we'll have to fence somehow along here so they won't dive in or I guess we could fence this guy so he blocks everything but yeah but I'm not going to do anything until this guy goes in because there's a great big field of influence around it once that done, that's done then we can fence this area off and give him a dedicated little area and I don't know this, is, this guy's got to move and I think it's pretty obvious we might be able to sneak the road around a little S curve right here and not deal with this, but this guy's got to go somewhere else. Over here fits, but there's par car parking right there. It doesn't really make that much sense. Where else? We got it here. We got it here. Right up against this. That's a porch and that's a walkway. Could be in here, but that feels really awkward. And there's a walkway through here. And look at the black soot coming off of that. That's why you're not supposed to have that around your housing. Mm hmm. These guys at least put off only white soot. <laughs> but yeah, that's because we're burning coal here, whereas here we're burning wood, turning it into coal. But this is burning just coal. Mm hmm. Um, you are emptied now. Uh, gathering charcoal for current layer, but we've got that all turned off to turn it off. You. Limestone, there's still a thousand left over there, and the rest is over here. We have, yeah, we have 11,000 out of the 15 we need. Then it was going into this building. And quick lime, that is all the quick lime. Q. P, Q. There's no, nothing left. So you're officially done. Uh, take you down there and shut you down. You are over. You're no longer needed. We can no longer make our own lime. Okay. That's probably been in that condition for many episodes. I just never thought to look. What I haven't clicked on this building in a long time. So there's three, potentially four, that are making potash, making ash, and making... What was the other thing we do there? Lye, which is that bucket right there. So we have several in stock. We're storing it here. And we've only got line that's reserved, so that goes into here, which means that somebody found some tallow somewhere. Okay, so we have a little bit of soap going there. Okay. Hmm. So, over here... Oh, I deleted this building and put a three-story in. I thought it would look best if we had two three-stories right here to offset the two two-stories right there. We can see the, both roofs over the top. And then we drop back down again. A couple of, of short ones. Another granary is done. So that's four so far. Fifth one will be going in. Once that builds, then we can think about sheds, uh, warehouses, and anything else that makes sense. Probably a lot of cart parking out here. Yeah. And then, so they'll probably be on the road. Like 
right in here, aiming into the road. Maybe two of them, maybe one here and one here. And then I've got to decide, is this going to kind of run into there too? Or we're going to put a wall of houses and kind of divert traffic around and make it look like it isn't crooked. <laughs> By not being able to, to combine the two anyway. Um, yeah, that looks like the curve's off to the side there. Yeah, I'll, I'll ignore it. Okay, so you are still waiting to get this tree count down. We only have 16. I can speed things up. I think I have caught up enough what's going on though I just realized I heard another noise oh the granary so exported charcoal really it's every single load instead of when the job is done I didn't realize that has that always been that way or has that changed I thought it was when the full you know 12,000 left and there's still 4,000 to go hmm I guess each cart is its own purchase in that case that's when money trades hands. You are at 18. You are at 20. And Marefa is here. And you had 100 waiting and it made it in. Okay. No worker at the for the trade boat. Okay. What is going on with our labor force right now? This is becoming an issue. Everything that we have knocked down from seasonal hiring. Let's look at all those buildings. I'm not knocking them down anymore. Okay. You guys still can't get your other two. You guys can't get your two. What else? We take all of these ladies down in March. Oh, two and four. Never mind. That doesn't happen. Okay, so what else does? You have two. You have three of five. You have three. This is April. Um, you were never hired. Don't need you yet. All of the warehouses. Didn't we drop all those down in March? And we need to check the school while I'm thinking of it. Nobody... No kids. Okay. What else gets knocked out in March? These go down. So one of four. The two came in. That one we're not using. That's normally just one. Three of four. We don't touch that one or this one. We don't touch any of the animals. And did the other tailor go in? That's you. I never hired you. Okay, let's just transfer all of these settings, apply to you, and apply to you. But we're going to take you down, actually to three, and apply all those. Okay, so this one's now waiting for, where are you? Up here, waiting for three workers and then to get a load of all the supplies. Okay, I've never noticed this much trouble to get things rehired again. And I'm starting to get concerned that something more has changed. So we're going to lose this sale of the onions that have waited so long to go out. Well, the onions went out. Oh, no. World map. Let's pause. You're there? You're there. There's no one there to do it. And I can't use laborers to load boats. Okay, so temporarily I'm going to have to force this issue. Workers, 150% pay. Let's try to get somebody in here. 200% pay. We're long after everyone started to rehire. We still have nine guys looking for a job. I think the radius for work has been decreased. I think there's less candidates available for this than there used to be. That's what it feels like to me. Something has changed in the game. To go that long with so many guys looking for work and no one, you know, one guy for a whole episode and now just went to two. 150% wages. Oh, am I not running? I thought I was. Okay, there's one. Yeah, I thought I was running. Okay. 
So maybe, okay, emergency uh, diverted there. Now that you're here, I'm going to take you back down to what it should have been to begin with. Thank you. Now, going to work. Okay, get him loaded up before, you, before he floats away. All right, onions are gone. They hang around. Don't you go anywhere. Oh, where'd the other boat go? World map. We're exporting sunflower oil. We have the sunflower oil. Where'd that boat go? Oh, it was a different order. This is the one that came in from the previous order and hit as soon as the river thawed. Okay. So as long as you're still there. Did anything change over here now? Still waiting for two. Still waiting for three. Eh, I don't know what's going on. Still waiting for one there. One there. Hmm. Okay. Well, maybe we'll take another look through everything uh, before the episode's over and see if those jobs ever filled. Um, so these don't have employees right now. Diet of old age. Still missing two. Missing one. See, all these jobs had filled before. And of all of these families, I guess... I was wandering through here in between episodes and noticed that we've got a 10 year old here. You are getting primary school education. Okay, four kids over here now. Four kids over here. And six kids over here. Okay. So ages over here and what I was wondering about is and I think I may be on to something here I don't know that the school was up and running when this kid turned 10 whereas this one I noticed before the episode or end of last episode this kid was 9 this kid was 9 still is and there's one more in here real close that is also 9 I think that one and was about to turn to 10. So two of them have turned to 10 and have gone in. So this one, when 9 becomes 10 and there's a school available, may trigger at that point and from that point forward whether or not they're going to go to school. Whereas there was no school here when this one was it went from 9 to 10 years old and maybe couldn't reach this one over here is a guess. I don't know. I'm trying to, trying to work my way through the. How come it's this way and not that way? So you are overloaded with bricks now because they picked this one up. Great. Okay. And the game didn't crash even though there wasn't enough room for it. Okay, that's a good thing too. Um, let's grab one of you. I wish. Actually, I could align it to this, maybe? Uh, let's just try. You. You there. Pull out and grab you. And I don't know if that worked perfectly or not. I guess we need to align it to here. Which is really close. Looks like I'm just a, a touch or two off. That's right there. So you are in here somewhere. So if we center it on that entrance, we're over here somewhere. But I have to be at this angle to see my alignment. Boy, this jumps when it goes up the hill. I, I can't make it just flow smoothly. Every time it changes elevation, it, it jerks. It looks like I have to almost touch that fence. So that's the alignment from this direction. Hopefully that's correct. I'm not close enough to, or I'm too I'm too close. I can't tell if it really lined up with the fencing. I think it does. And then in which case we'll delete this and make it connect as close as possible once it builds. But you're going to be there now, and I think that's going to look fine. I think it's going to get rid of that that bottleneck feeling that I felt when I saw it here before. I think it was because the stairs both drop into there as well. It just, I don't know, it just felt wrong. So that's going to give us a nice courtyard over there. 
Yeah. Okay, so what are we doing right now? We are building this house. Okay, I need to see if they can get food other than from here. Though that is a lot closer than this one. This this would have been a better test, but we're, we're not even close to being able to do that. Okay, but we'll get you in. Then we're gonna get the last granary in. And you're a tavern. You are emptied or cleared so we can build you now. You are a row house, so that would be the next logical one to get done. Then we've got all these trees to take down for the market stalls. And then we move into the rest of the village houses over here. So it's up to these guys for all the rest of the building projects. Until we get back over to these two over here. So you're still at 15 logs. Let's speed things back up again. I never dealt with Marifa. There's 12 days left. Oops, Marifa, you do what? You do salt. 8,700 in town. We have 2,000 in stock. Let's do the 2,000. And deal. And that was for sale. So dried fish, we're down to 50 in town. Sunflower oil, we're at 1,900. Let's leave that for now. We're at almost 14,000 in the treasury. We really don't need to sell anything anymore if we choose not to. Flour, if nothing else, it's just it's a reporting system to get me to look to see how things are going. You know, how, how the clothes right now. But sallow, we've got 600 left. Chicken eggs, we're up close to 100. That's, oh, because these guys are no longer <laughs> buying chicken eggs and then making them vanish. And then buying more chicken eggs and making them vanish. Okay, so these folks married, came in with no money at all. Why is that? So he came from this household that has 71 and she came from this household that has 70, yet they gave them absolutely nothing to start with. That's interesting. Now they're buying what? Except for the sunflower oil, they're buying things that are available over here, um, over here. There's no sunflower oil over here, and there's no sunflower oil over here. So where are they getting the sunflower oil from? So you are right there, and you have nothing on you. So you're taking a rest. So you're going to go shopping after that. You are over here getting a drink of water. So you're heading home too. Okay, so you're coming from your house. He's coming from his parents' house. Aha, uh -huh, interesting. So let's watch what he does. He is going to now take off to buy food. So he didn't head to these. He's heading to this market over here where he's going to get warm clothes and or sunflower oil. Warm clothes are on this side. He got the oil. So she must be going for the warm clothes. With what money? Now they have 14. So that wasn't wages. Their monthly income is 270. Where'd the 14 come from? I wonder if it's delayed. Hmm. I don't know. Um, she is now getting her drink of water, which means she's bringing water into the house. Okay. He and she is buying firewood. Okay, and that is this way. So she's going directly to get the firewood from here. Okay, so in that case, who knows? Firewood, they have been selling it though. Yeah, 3000 last year, 1200 this year. Okay, um, eggs, I'm curious. How many eggs have sold? And how many failed? We, we sold 877 eggs out of this booth. How long has that problem been happening with the eggs disappearing? Eggs are here. 860, so that's consistent. And eggs are here. 731. Okay. Well, I guess that's not too weird. Um, you 
are now buying all of these things. Okay. And she... No, she did go for... I guess she went all the way over here to go up and around. Interesting. So her pathway... Yeah, she'd have to go all the way here and then go all the way back. So it must be just a little bit shorter there. So she wasn't going over here to get it. Okay. And now she is buying shoes. But shoes are sold over here too. Right? Yeah. So why didn't she get it the same place she went to get firewood? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> she got that there. He is visiting a church. Okay. <clears throat> you know, I never thought of looking at their budget to see if money goes away at 20 cents per visit. So, 77.90 pops in there. Well, it just went down. Yeah, I still don't know how he's getting his wages. Now they have 70, 72. It was 5 and then it was 30. Now it's 72 and not a lot of time has gone by. So I think it is the church is a, a wealth generator for them. And, I don't know, it's interesting. Tavern is doing what? Not as good as the church. <laughs> um, doctor is, of course, doing the very best. Where is he at right now? 3,500 in wages. Whoa! Yeah. Okay. We don't need it. I don't need to go and tap him just for the principle of the thing. But still, wow. You're at 140. Okay. Yeah. Interesting. All right. So, oh, I guess I need to move you up so we can see that. All right. You're going right over there. This is being built right now. All the supplies are there and putting it together. I don't know if we've ever stopped to really watch one of these guys go in. How many workers? Just the one right now? That's too bad. I could fly through this thing if everybody was here. Not a lot of steps. There's a helper. Okay. Let's get all these walls in. Boy, I wish I could install a roof that fast. Oh, you're on your own. Normally it takes a whole team of, of Amish builders to throw up a, uh, uh, a barn like that. Okay, so we've got Messenger from Marifa again. Um, we never really finished Marifa, so I guess I should at least look at this. Uh, salt. So that's all the things you want to buy from us. Honey, buying from them. Hemp, wheat. Yeah, we're fine. Okay. Um, you're still the same thing. Don't, I want to check you once in a while to see if that's going down. And to what extent. Now, if I were to do this, get three guys working, how quickly would this fill? from these workers and did these ever fill up you still never got them um, you're still lacking one you you found somebody you are still lacking three huh and yet we are still 14 guys looking for a job yeah it's got to be a distance thing So over in here, we're still taking trees down to get the rest of these built. And I guess I don't really need to, to worry about this experiment anymore. You've got enough things to, uh, to satisfy, so you just probably all went back to work. Carpentry and a laborer. So she is off doing this. He has gone home, and he is taking a rest, which means visiting a church. <clears throat> So you're heading over here. I want to watch your income of 30 now. We haven't gone through even a single month. At five a month, how do they go from 15 to 30 so fast? I don't know. There's there's more going on here than, than seems obvious to me. Should that have not have just ticked up from 15 to 20? Or did money from one of their families arrive after a while then money from another one of their families arrived even later because I don't know what they could have sold huh I mean they were spending money 
and yet it went up. Interesting. When you don't click on these and just assume everything is fine, you know, I wonder what, what all we're missing. Okay, you go away. Let's grab another one. Snap to there. And bring you in to center. Looks good compared to the other one. So we'll call it, we'll say it is. Go until you turn red. Uh, there you are. Boy, that seems awfully deep. Oh, it's all in the shadows. Okay. So now we're touching. That touched pretty good. I'd say we're there. So, that's the look now. I think it looks better. I'm still questioning things. Like, this should have been... Maybe down a little bit lower with some more of this fence extending beyond before making the turn. Might have looked even better than being the actual corner. You know, within the middle of a run. Would probably look a little better than this. But I'm going to call that good enough. It accomplishes the goal. Doesn't scream too much at me. So, if to force this pathway over, a fence that works with this. We know that this one has a similar look as that, but I don't like that it's solid. So I'm not going to do that one. Um, over here... Boy, it's hard to get rid of that. Over here, we used the picket fence for this little park area. Okay. And that, that grew up pretty good. Everything is fully grown and blossoms and trees. and Yeah, that looks pretty good. Over here. So picket. There really aren't any other competing fences in the area. Except for a three rail over here. Okay. Now we've got the verticals here, which might look well with the pickets. So let's assume that that's true. I need the road up here. Let's take it the width and run one like that in or over let's give it some room do something like that and then that far the other one is about there about like that and then over I'll say there. Looks weird with the pathway. When the grass is in, it won't be. And yeah, I have no idea what that should look like. I'm just going to leave it like that for now. This probably needs to work its way around. Yeah, I got to think that one through. Maybe he gets the entire area and seating and bushes and trees and whatnot but right now we're going to start reshaping this let's see what they do as they turn the corner here so she's turning in now and be nice to make them walk out to here and not clip this corner but i don't know how to do that i did it in some other places i oh around the other church but we're heading here now and we're going to clip it getting to the bridge they 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 take the shortest route they possibly can. Yeah. Okay. Um, over here, last night when I was setting this in, I got to looking over here and noticing how everyone was walking. I, I set a bunch of plantings both inside and outside of the fence in here. Make this look a little better. I planted some trees that are not grown yet. But I also buried some fences into the bushes to force them out a little bit and even that's not enough they'll walk right through these bushes they they don't seem to uh, interact with them so I brought a fence out into there where you can't really see it and same over there trying to get some green back underneath these bushes again but I'm probably losing that battle I think so <laughs> all right so you are having a problem now 
Yeah, I think things changed. I really do. We've never had this problem before. We haven't had that problem in a lot of episodes. And all of a sudden, they're having trouble doing that. It's not like we don't have a lot of things to buy. It's there. So, why you can't or haven't. So you... Supply... See, I'm going to pause because... Except for the eight-month-old, even the kids can go and buy... Yeah, there you go. Seven-year-old is out buying food. So you're going to this one stall right here. Okay. Find home. The seven-year-old is providing for the family right now. Playing around. Supplying resources. So laborer and laborer. Plenty of money. Enough income. They just happen to run out of food, but... You don't see that symbol very often anymore. I'll be swinging this around. Just watch that. Okay, so we didn't solve that last time. I guess I I didn't do anything else with the windmills because I don't know what's going to happen here now that we're taking this out. Does this fence come out? Does this fence come out? I mean, this fence isn't even needed anymore. This could all be just a big open area and just give up on the idea of a of a governor's or a, you know, a mayor's residence. I don't know. Or these could put somewhere else and the mayor's residence is right behind the town hall. Hmm. Decorating and, you know, the final, the fine details, I'm not that good at. Well, the Banished series that I did in Colonial Charter, I got the town built, but then when it came to try to pretty it all up, it just got overwhelming and I just ended it and move on to another game. <laughs> I like to build the logistics of it. But as far as making all the details look really good, that's that's not my department. Anyway, speed things up again and let's tick through this list of it. We're working on the tavern, then we're going to work on a row house, and we're still taking down trees in four of those market stalls. And then we are chopping. Okay, so what chopping jobs are most important right now. If there's that many trees in there, 16, we're not going to get to these two before they built these two buildings. I doubt it. So that means this row house needs to move up into here too. You're probably there or there. What are you? The other ore mine, we don't need it right now. You're full of something. What's going on here? 10,000 ore. <coughs> what is going on there? We have no workers because we didn't have enough ore to do anything. That's what it was. We shut down all but three months a year. Okay, so June. We're going to turn on in July. Let's run in October. Run in January. No, you're a smelter. We can't run in January. Uh, stop that. Okay, so we are off... So we need to run in November. We're off these three months. We need to run here, except I want to use you for the farms. So we'll turn you on there. And turn you on there and maybe there. Okay. So there, that gives you four months. Though right now, June, let's go ahead and grab these two weeks. See if we can even get anybody hired in there. Okay, we have market stalls. I'll load up those market stalls after the episode's done. i got to go through and transfer all of the orders from the other ones. And that will... Uh, it's Okay, we got our workers. Okay, so they hired up. They didn't. They've been waiting all this time. This hired up really fast. Interesting. So this one still hasn't found one more person. What is with that? I mean, we're so close to all these people. There's got to be some laborers and unemployed people hiding in here. Unemployed. Iron mine. Brickworks ashery. Okay. Laborer and unemployed. What have we got in here? Oh, that's the barber surgeon. So you are iron mine and market stall. Laborer, which means you could be employed. And warehouse. 
We've got Stone Camp and Unemployed. We've got Smeltery and Unemployed. Need more ladies' jobs over here. Labor and Small Granary. So I know there's, you know, the, there's at least three guys there that are laborers that could take a full-time job. The laborers are not paying more. I've made sure of that. We're still even. And I could take you down, say, one notch. Just to make sure that the workers' jobs are paying more, no matter what. The second tavern is going in. There was <clears throat> a comment that the second tavern can cause problems with the population growth. It somehow interacts with the other tavern and causes an issue that there isn't enough alcohol in the uh, in the town for the for the houses to fill. I'm curious to see what happens with that when that triggers and w when we start getting some alcohol in there, which is an issue that will be resolved when we move all the granary goods out over there. Aha. Uh -huh. So to do that, it'd be nice to have some working cart sheds. Ah, a couple guys hired over here. It is July. We are hiring the orchards right now. And that seems to be happening really well. Otherwise, what was the other thing that was holding us up? We've got everybody working the brickworks now. We added another one there. Do we have our third fisherman? We do. So really, really slow. Is it because I just made the laborers' jobs 10 cents less? Huh. I guess that's worth uh, thinking about. Marifa's here again, so this is the Marifa episode. <laughs> yeah, for some reason, the game just spits out the same one over and over again. I've noticed that since uh, some, since patch 5, or update 5 came out. Um, what am I thinking over here? You guys. We've got a cow. Okay. Could use one more. And cow three years. Bull. 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 Let's grab you. You can go over there and finish that one. You're fine. I've still got plenty of bulls over in this one, right? Yeah. One, two, three, four, five. And then some one-year-olds. So that is not a problem. In fact, I can even do two more and get some more meat in the system. How are we doing for cow meat as far as rotting? Are we eating it up? Beef. Here. So, click on you. Perished is there. Kind of about the same as the chicken meat. Kind of a, a low percentage compared to the majority of it. So we're still, though very little chicken meat right there. We've got more people coming in. And this one's not registering any at all so far. We've been eating everything that came out of this year so far. Okay. Every fourth year, this one has a problem. So my rotation is not perfect. We are running low on whatever the middle one is, I'm guessing. So you are wheat. And wheat... Can I look over here? I can. Wheat needs a lot more green than, than is available. Okay. So I may need to alter that one a little bit. 50-50, um, 50-60. If I change it to barley, it would make it. But I can't right now. Can't until this growing s this uh, season is done. Okay, market stall just finished. We're finishing up these guys we're working on a couple more in here and that'll be ready after the episode for me to transfer everything over so any ideas on what happens in here though it may be like me I wouldn't be able to even answer that till it's all cleared out and I can see an empty pallet there and then start thinking about it I assume the gazebo stays and maybe another gazebo goes in here could be. Maybe that's what's in the very center. Let the roads all work around the gazebo. Yeah, I kind of like that. I'll fence around it. Though there's already fencing that's going to go in here. Hmm. So, I assume I need to eliminate this back pathway. This is the path now with a nice archway going in right here into this area. Then maybe another V like, like we did over in this one. Right here, what was a V until we did that. 
Huh. Uh, another market stall is in. That one right there. So are we... We're done. That's all of them. Okay. So I will load these up with goods later. You are the tavern. We're getting close to finishing there. Got just two guys working in here at the moment. Next is a row house. Where am I at? Boy. Hour is almost gone again already. So, yeah. Don't like that, but it gives us the impression of what's going on. But yeah, the fencing does need to work its way down. It does. It's got to go all the way to here. So how we do that and why, I'm not sure. But we need to somehow get over to, to here. Then into probably like this. It looks horrible. But that's what needs to be accomplished. Whether that is done with fencing or if it is done with a cart shed. If the terrain will even let me do it. Yeah, will not. Okay. So I can't use a building to do that. But somehow I need to get people to stop cutting the corners here. That alone will help. So yeah, now they're going to walk on the upper part here. So one fence could accomplish that and put a bunch of trees around it or something. But it's so deep, even the, uh, the fence doesn't reach. <laughs> uh, tavern is done. Let's... That's right, I don't... Not enough alcohol on the local market. So that's a distance thing. Oh, which means this has got to stay. Yeah. And we're going to have to have alcohol in both. Interesting. So I'm going to have to have a small amount of alcohol over there. Because it over there is going to be set to take from other granaries. Yeah. Let's play with that one. Balakli is visiting. Okay. Balakli I may want to go look at. So we'll turn the speed back down. Let's employ you. And you'll have, well, for now, one person. And I may need to get some of these houses going to employ some of these other businesses. It could well be. Though you did finally fill up. So now you can reach these houses. Yeah, yeah, I don't, I don't know. Anyway, you need to be employed. And we need to put um, you in. But only 200 and take from other granaries and then we need to have meat in here and we'll do the 200 as well and we'll go ahead and set beer in here so we're going to take 200 from that granary to have enough close enough to this guy to fill it leaving the rest over here since it's mostly coming in from the trader right now so that this guy is close enough to get his supply too. And 200 looks like it's enough. There's 172 and 150. Okay. So I think that's the plan. We'll see how well this works over time. Um, anything else going on before we call this one done? You're still sitting... Oh, that was bricks that doing that before. But you're fine. So charcoal is still running great. Logs are zero. You guys are in charge of taking down the red X's right now. And you're not taking it down fast enough to keep yourselves running. Boy, that one speed now feels so slow. <laughs> A block layout. That's, that's why I slowed you down. So you're over here and you are there. Okay. So you sell these things. We don't need any of those except for stone. Hmm. So that's why we had so much stone because we're buying it. What's our stone like in town? We have 10,000. And we only use a thousand per base. It's the bridges that took so much. And we're not going to build any more stone bridges. Wood and wood and wood. Um, I'm sorry, I didn't point out this bridge. So we're. I figured to split this area up. We can, since we're going to be hops and farms through this area, let's give several pathways to get in here. So that's what's up there. And I need to think of wells out here too, uh, since I'm holding a well. Okay. So wood bridge, wood bridge. Eventually, though, this will be a stone bridge. I think the rest of these around the backside are all going to be wood. 
a richer part of town and a poorer part of town. <laughs> um, so I'm going to skip stone this time. That's what I'm getting to. Otherwise, to sell to you guys. We didn't do this sunflower oil last time. Let's not do it this time either. We're still... We've even gone up, even though I didn't make that other sale. And you want to buy from us. So clothing, we're at 800 now. Did that fill. Right here. We got one lady in there, one lady in here. Because it is August. And we are re uh, harvesting. Okay, this one should... Actually, I think this takes just as long to harvest. They still have to walk every single aisle, a row, even though there's nothing in there. Yeah, so you are completely full. You are completely full, except for one. You are one. <laughs> so when we move the market, we should be able to put houses around this whole backside. I think it'll reach the entire run. And probably stopping on this corner. So we'll set up more houses through here. These guys will have even more logs than they know what to do with. And that sh population should finish any needs we have for what is, whatever is going on in here. Maybe even if they can reach, and maybe even the fishing. Then these houses through here should all handle the granaries, the farms, the hops, the distillery, the brewery. And what's left over here, the glassworks and the the uh, pottery. And as well as overflow, maybe going to the mine. By then, maybe we'll turn on the, uh, or build the construction office to help coordinate all that. Now that we've finally got enough to justify it. So, yeah. Little by little, it'll all happen. Um, you never got built. Where are you? I don't even see you. You're over here. Let's get one more project between these jobs to see how much uh, how many of these trees can be taken out but I have a feeling that this 15 is not going to get done I'll just move you in place unless some other job comes up like that arch we'll get you built and we'll fence around it and do we make a fence tight like that is that a problem well it had to be because of the stairs it, it would look better if it could come out a little bit and then turn in but the stairs were a problem there yeah, but this one, maybe, will come down here and hit the side of the bridge, or the, the arch. In fact, you know, I really kind of like that. Let's just do it now and see what we think. You... See, the problem is I don't know how deep I can go. And if I click in here, you know, there's nothing red. It's not until I click that I find out that I couldn't do that. I go here. There. I think it's dead center. Yeah, it's dead center. Okay. Okay, so you come down to what looks like halfway. I'll let you walk through it first. So, not the top of the fence, but down there at the base. The base is actually centered right about that point. And 90 degrees. I think that's it. Yeah, a little bit further in. Alright, you guys have finished your pathing. And you're going to go to there. Okay. So that, and then we take off from there, off into the back. Okay. And then we need to get some kind of a mural painted onto here. Some kind of signage advertising the stores. <laughs> yeah. Um, am I done? Let's... Do our obligatory checking of the tanneries. We've got no hides waiting and rotting. Over here, we've got 50 sheep hides that just happened. And we are bringing another cow over right now. Over here, we've got 150. And you're bringing 50 more. So that one's about to go just fine. And hardly any rot between that run. And I didn't influence this. It happened all on its own. So that pace is working well. The 200. And I don't see a need to have a third person in here. That's one sheep shed is making two runs at four each just fine. So that's working. Cows have been working fine. Though we've never had two of them full all the way to 20 until right now. So we'll see if that becomes an issue over here. 
it may be that I could add one more cow into here. It's the same 200. Well, it's 200. We're at 300 over here. It might be that I could mix those two up a little bit. We'll see. But I wouldn't want to go 300 on sheep. That's six of them. I think that's pushing it. But 200 is working okay. All right, so am I finished here? I think I am. Are there any other fires I haven't put out? I've just forgotten them. <laughs> it's, it's the end of the day. Worked a long day. Yeah, brain isn't... Uh, isn't fully awake right now. Anyway, I'm going to call this one finished. Thanks for watching, folks, and I'll catch you next time. Bye-bye now.